Hello my dear students, welcome back to the class. So today I have another story for you. Are you all ready to listen to the story? Here it is. Once there was a king who placed a rock on a roadway and then he hid himself behind the tree and he was noticing if anyone would move the rock out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers came by and simply walked around it. Many people loudly blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear. But none of them did anything about getting the stone out of the way. Later, a farmer then came along carrying a load of vegetables. While he was approaching the rock, the farmer laid down his burden and tried to push the stone out of the road. After much pushing and straining, he finally succeeded. After the farmer went back to pick up his vegetables, he noticed a purse lying in the road where the stone had been. The purse contained many gold coins and a note from the king explaining that the gold was for the person who removed the big stone from the roadway. And from this story, we can understand that every obstacle we come across in life gives us an opportunity to improve our circumstances while the others complain and grumble. So, we need to make use of the opportunity which we get in our life without complaining. Bye bye children. Okay children, I think from each and every story you are learning something and you are practicing in your life. So good, keep on doing that children. Okay, let's move on to today's class. So in today's class we are going to revise the second lesson from geography which is the land and oceans. So without any delay we will get into the class. Children have you ever seen this picture? Okay if you have not seen and if you have not known then I will tell you. Right this picture is called as Pangaea which means a supercontinent. And the sea which surrounds this supercontinent is called Pantalasa. And it was 200 million years ago when this supercontinent moved away from each other to gain its present position called the continents and ocean. Do you know why these land masses moved away from each other? It is just because of the internal heat of the earth. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about the continents and oceans. The earth is covered by land and oceans. The water occupies 71% and the land occupies 29% of the earth. Children, we all know that the earth is not even. Because it has lofty mountains, deep oceans and the other landforms. And these landforms are classified as the first order landform, second order landform and the third order landforms. So under first order landforms, we have continents and oceans. Now, what are continents children? So the vast land masses are called continents. In what are oceans? The large water bodies are called oceans. Right. We have seven continents as we all know. Isn't it? So the seven continents are, can you name them? Yes. Asia, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Australia and Antarctica. Now in these seven continents, Asia is the first largest continent. 
and Africa is the second largest continent and Australia is the smallest continent. So apart from continents we have oceans and there are five oceans in the world and they are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean. So of these five oceans Pacific is the largest ocean and Arctic Ocean is the smallest ocean. All these together come under first order landforms which are the continents and the oceans. Now we are going to learn about the second order landforms. So under second order landforms we have mountains, plateaus and plains. Now what are mountains? So a landform that rises 600 meters above its surrounding is called the mountains and these mountains have the steep slope and the peak and these mountains are found in isolation as well as in groups so the mountains which are found in groups are called mountain ranges which means the mountains which extends to the vast area continuously then it is called a mountain range. These ranges stretch for hundreds and thousands of kilometers and the best examples of this mountain range are the Himalayas of Asia, the Rocky Mountains of North America and the Andes of South America. The Andes Mountains in South America is the longest mountain range in the world and we all know that the highest point of the mountain is called the peak and Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world which has the height of 8,848 meters. Now how to remember this? There is a small uh, saying in Tamil which is Mount Everest So which is means 8848 meters. So this is just a way to remember it easily. Okay? Right. Now how are these mountains useful for us? So mountains are the sources of rivers. And not only that, they also provide shelter for the flora and fauna. And the important activity taken up here is tourism. Children, and we all like to go to mountain region, right? Why? To enjoy the pleasant, cool weather, isn't it? So for this purpose, people just go to mountain regions to enjoy the pleasing cool weather and some of the hilly regions in Tamil Nadu are Udagamandalam which is called Oti, Kodeknal, Elagili, Erkad and Kolli Hill. These are some of the hill stations in Tamil Nadu. And the next one is plateaus. Now what are plateaus? Plateaus are the landforms which are the elevated portions of the earth which have the flat surface and the steep slopes. The elevation of plateaus may be for few hundred meters to several thousand meters. Tibetan plateau is the highest plateau in the world and so it is called the roof of the world. The flat topped surface of the plateau is called the tablelands because of its flat surface. So plateaus are generally rich in minerals. The Chodanagpur Plateau is one of the mineral rich plateaus in India and people who are living here take up the mining activities because of the availability of the minerals in these areas. And some of the plateaus which are found in Tamil Nadu are Dharmapuri Plateau, Coimbatore Plateau and Madurai Plateaus. And the last one is about the plains. 
so so far we have covered the mountains and plateaus now we are going to see about the plains so by the name plains itself we can understand that they are flat surface and relatively low lying lands plains are usually less than 200 meters above the sea level most plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries and distributaries these plains are used extensively for the agricultural purposes due to the availability of water and soil fertility and these plains are the most suitable for human inhabitation we also know that the plains are the highly populated regions in the world the oldest civilizations like mesopotamian civilizations and indus civilization has started to develop only in the river plains the indo gangetic plain in north india is one of the largest plain in the world some of the plains which are formed by the rivers in tamil nadu are the kaveri plain and the vaigai plain and we also have the coastal plains which are lying adjacent to the seas and oceans so children in this lesson we have revised the lands and oceans and under lands and oceans we know that there are three categories so one is first order the second order landforms and the third order landforms so under first order landforms we have the continents and oceans and under second order landforms we advise about the mountains plateaus and plains so in the next class we are going to revise the third order landforms and also the oceans in detail so children i want you to come back to the next class with the same energy and enthusiasm and i'm happy to see you all in the zoom teachings children continue to come to the zoom teachings also you'll be having a small test in the september second week so start preparing from now onwards the children now listen carefully when you enter into zoom teachings i want you to enter with your admission number name and class as well as section now apart from this i also want you to write your test only in your classwork note now today's assignment to write in your classwork is which of the second order landforms do you like the most and why so you are going to write the answer for this question in your classwork children i insist you to take up all your tests and kahoots which you are getting regularly i hope you will do that so with this our class gets over for today i'll meet you all in the next class children until then take care bye bye